In this video, we're going to check out CoinOps Mini, which is a small base image for CoinOps for PC. And it's well under 16 gigabytes. It's got some consoles and a nice arcade set. This is great if somebody wants something small and tiny that's going to work for a lot of slower computers and you know not high system requirements. It's also good for somebody who wants to build their own image and just add on to it. Um, in this video, I'll go ahead and show you the file structure, how to get it all set up, and some scan line and customization you could do. We'll go through the uh, you know the collections and things, and then we'll play, do some gameplay. So a good mini starting point if you're new to coin ops or just want something small. Let's check it out. All right, so in this video, we're going to check out CoinOps Next Mini. Now, this is a mini version of the big CoinOps build that I've showed off in previous videos, and it's just much smaller. So we're going to go ahead and check it out in just a moment. But um, as you should know, it's it's just you want to extract it. It's pretty much all set up. It's set up for Xbox 360 controller. It also, your keyboard will work for a lot of these um, within the menu system. Um, this is running off Retro FE. CoinOps is just the front end on top of that, the skin, if you will. Now, um, if you want to get into the actual ROMs and things and the emulator cores, you go to emulators. You can see the emulators here. That collections, this is where you actually see the ROMs. So this is pretty small. It's got Sega CD, one game. All right, let's just load it up, see what's all, what's, what it's all about. Okay, so we have arcade, arcade classics, and just a few little consoles. That's it. Super small. So a lot of these settings will be um, pre-on, but you can turn them on and off really easily. So we have kind of the best games over here. Or some of the more popular, I don't know about best, but more popular ones. And as you see, it just loads really fast. It's cool how like this little Nintendo controller hovers on the left here. You got Zelda and Link. You got your Mega Man's horse. Metal Gear. Great soundtrack. Of course, you got the Mario's, the Top Guns, and then back to the Game and Watch. Okay, so they're on here. You just can't see the files. They're in a different directory. But it looks like you only have about 10 or so of these. I don't really play them anyways, but in case you want them. All right, Game Boy Advance, just a few games. Got all the Pokemon. It's kind of weird with the Game Boy Advance where the videos are just kind of zoomed in, but. There you go. Nice SNES collection. So there's a lot more games for SNES. Kill that scorpion. 
Headshot. And zombies ate my neighbors. Tennis is not a lot of games on here. But a lot of the staples. Interesting that Sonic CD is in the Genesis folder. So keep that in mind. That
So it looks on this build, there's no bezels to start. Let's try it now. We'll just go over and we'll go over to settings here. And we'll go ahead and turn scan lines on. And glass effect on. See, it looks pretty cool, right? But I understand it's a very uh, personal thing. Okay, so let's keep those on for now. Um, huge, huge arcade set, right? Not huge, but a, a decent one for a mini system, right? Um, it depends on your PC specs, if the game's going or not. That's running really good as well. your favorite Genesis games and then uh, let's do a Game Boy Advance game portable because like I said these um the 
the video snaps are a little weird. I don't know if I love that so much, but I see what they're doing. Okay, cool. This is looking really good. They blew this up to the um, bigger aspect ratio. I don't know. I like to play that like this. Okay, and don't remember you have all these fixes if it's not working direct X if you haven't installed it already on a computer and then all this stuff right here These are all batch files. You can easily just run any of these files to change the way it looks on your coin ops, so um, Let's just say I don't you know, let's just say I'm LCD 4-3 So there you have it coin ops mini and as you see that um you know, it's you could change out the scan lines and things. It's really easy to change all those settings. Um, games, you know, just a few games per system. It's not the entire collections. If anything, it's less than 10% of a lot of these systems. But overall, it's clean, it's easy, and it's a good starting point. Or if, if again, if you just don't have a lot of hard drive space or not a fast device, this could be all you're looking for. Um, the only thing that was kind of weird to me was how the um, Game Boy Advance video snaps kind of displayed. I thought it was kind of weird that they were kind of zoomed in. Um, but other than that, it worked great with my Xbox 360 controller. It's easy setup. It's small. So this gets a lot of people started in coin ops if you're just checking it out for the first time. But anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.